All right. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed the break. Now let's give it up for Sebastian. Uh, to talk about the elephant in the in the room, this did not happen while I was doing some React Native stuff. So I, I did break something, but not my uh, not my neck. Uh, this happened when I talked to a customer presenting my Ionic app. <laughs> no, just just kidding. It was was yeah uh, some accident <laughs> over the weekend. Okay, but nevertheless, let's uh, not talk about me. Let's uh, let's talk about uh, React Native and then live coding and. Please bear with me, uh, it's a live coding session, so uh, it can happen everything, so uh, remember the code of conduct. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So, uh, 20 seconds to me, uh, to me and myself, uh, I'm, I, I'm working at App With Us, we are sitting here in Altona. Um, we love React Native, that's also why I'm, uh, why I'm speaking here. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're, do we're doing apps with uh, customers or for customers, or actually with customers together. So we're building products together, um, and also uh, uh, all basically we are also doing our, our own stuff, our, our own apps, our own products, um, depending on how many customers we have and how much time there is still left for uh, for our stuff. But actually, we are forcing ourselves to to push out our our own products as well. So um, yeah. So much for that. Um, what uh, what will I show today? Uh, as the title says, it's a live coding session. So I will show you actually from from the scratch how to build a small React Native uh, application. As I have half an hour, something like that. Uh, it's not like a big one. Uh, even the, even the people from SoundCloud uh, took uh, it took them four months. So uh, yeah, it won't be that big, but uh, let, let's see what I, what I can get, uh, come up with. And uh, the app is about showing upcoming JavaScript meetups around me. So that might come in handy for uh, for, for some of you. Uh, I thought that's that, that's a good thing uh, thing to show. And I will also talk a little bit about, uh, about flaws and uh, of, of uh, developing uh, uh, an app with React Native while doing that. And then they have. Pretty pretty nice uh, use case for that <laughs> showcase for that. Um, yeah, and now uh, just to prove you that there will also that there will be code that uh, there. I only have seven slides in, in this talk, so there is actually code there. So, um, but <coughs> before we start, there was something before uh, where I had to set up my my computer, and it's half an hour, so uh, I prepared something at least. Um, that's good. Node.js developer, you have that already, but if, if not, you have to install Homebrew. With Homebrew, you can install Node.js. Uh, and also, you can install Watchman, which is a tool that you can, you can use to synchronize, to see, uh, to use live, uh, li live updates uh, when, you, when, when you change your, your files or use hot loading, for example. Then, uh, after you have that, uh, you can install the React Native uh, uh, CLI. If you haven't done so far, you also need to install Xcode, and as you want to build, want to build cross uh, cross product, you also have to have to install Android Studio. That something looks like that. So installing Homebrew. Can you see my mouse? Do I have my mouse? No, oh, I don't have my mouse. The first line of code is installing <laughs> Homebrew. <laughs> Second line: Node.js, uh, Watchman, React Native CLI, and Xcode, you have to do it on your own, and, and Android Studio as well. And basically, that's it. But this is stuff that I won't show today. If you want to, do, uh, if you have problems doing that, uh, have a look at the React Native uh, tutorial. Uh, and if you still having problems, give me a call. I'm also in the, in the Slack there. I can, I can sure, surely help you out with that. Um, and that's it. After that, uh, we can go to our console and uh, basically uh, hook up with, uh, or initially build a React Native uh, application, which is stuff that I also prepared, not because I'm scared, but uh, it's a 350 megabyte download. And I'm not sure, well, now I am sure that it would have worked, but on the other hand, I was like a little bit, okay, 350, it's like a little bit. So uh, I did that before. Uh, uh, and uh, but I can I can a little bit go uh, go go with you through the uh, th uh, through what happened there. 
Uh, first question in, to the guys in the back, can you see that or should I increase the can font size? See, but we can't read. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Can you read that? <laughs> Still not? Okay. Getting there? Okay. Okay. So uh, what I wrote is Re React Native in it and the name of the app that I that I want to write. Uh, Present some uh, some nice uh, some nice stuff. It actually then uh, installs React as React Native is uh, is, is based on uh, on React, and then installs a couple of dependencies which are just for example for for testing, and which has some dependencies as well. Uh, and that's it, you know. Uh, so that so there are there, there is quite some some stuff to be set up. But it, but it all does it on its own. So basically, after that, uh, you have everything, and, and and it took about one and a half minutes, the whole thing to to download and uh, and check up uh, that you that you can then uh, start your, your your first app, and actually it, it it then tells you. So if you want to run your iOS app, which I present here, um, type React Native run iOS, which I will actually do right now. Just. Right, right. CD, CD, RN meetup, you have to also go into the folder. <laughs> okay, so this will also take roughly a minute now. Um, what it does, it, it looks if there is an, an Xcode project, it also uh, builds up the, uh, uh, the I, I, iPhone 6 uh, simulator. Then <clears throat> there is scary stuff. Native land stuff happening in the in the back. I, it's there. I, I uh, I'm sure of that, but I, I don't I don't care basically so uh, so much about it uh, until it breaks. Of course, it also uh, fires up, and I can just increase that like that, as we don't need it anymore. Uh, a packager. Um, packager is something that just runs in the back. It's a, it's a web. Uh, Console and well, it's a web server that uh, is there to hook up the the, the app with the transpiled uh, JavaScript code. So this is just there, and the and the and the app basically connects to that web server and gets uh, gets the code from the, from that packager. But after the after I've said that, we all don't we don't have to have to look at, the, at that again. Gladly in the back. The, the the build run th through. Sadly, the simulator is not coming up. That's the stuff when I when I said this is live coding. Just, oh, okay, yeah, it's a good thing. Oh yeah, this is not too small. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, thank you. So this is the actual simulator from uh, from uh, yeah, from Apple, uh, and uh, this is actually our React Native app that has been set up by the um, by the the init uh, process, and yeah, it's it's a very basic AP, uh, basic app, but uh, it it gets you started really really smooth. Um, First introduction to, to some stuff that, that we're going to use. So I can press Command D. It also says it here if you can read that. Um, Command D uh, opens the action sheet where you, can, where you have some, some nice stuff that, and that, you, that you can work with later. You can reload the whole app, which actually closes the app and, uh, and reopens that. You can uh, debug the JavaScript code uh, in, in Chrome. I can hook up that right now. Which basically connects to uh, search Chrome, uh, opens opens a new tab, and then you can uh, open the debugger. And this is something that you can't read. I know um, you have the you have the debugger there. We we might uh, we might use that later, and so so I come back to that later. Um, but those two things are now uh, are now connected. 
Um, you have live reloading, you have hot reloading, uh, we've heard about that. Uh, you have the inspector to ins actually inspect CSS stuff uh, in there. Uh, performance monitoring, SysTrace, I've never actually used that. I think that's more for Android or so, but I, had, uh, I didn't have to use it. Um, for now, I'll, uh, I'll enable live reloading because we want to have that uh, in, in a moment. Uh, and show you the code behind that. I'm not using if code. Mm. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the app basically. Um, the directory is in there. We have some tests. I don't want to bore you with writing tests in then that half an hour, so I, I ignore them. You should write tests though. Um, you have the you have the Android project. You have the, all the all the Android stuff in there. You have the iOS uh, project. All the all the native uh, beauties are, are there. Um, there is already a build ordner because we run the app already. You have a lot of node modules there, some .env files and uh, two uh, uh, files: index.ios.js and index.android.js. Index.ios.js contains the path for the iOS version and uh, and, uh, and the same for, for Android. Um, mm. A bit larger. Okay, so um, it's also based, uh, based on, on ES6. That makes it a little bit nicer uh, nicer to type. Uh, what, what do we have here? We have React imported from the React uh, package and we have some React Native stuff uh, imported. Mm. I'll come to that uh, in a moment. Uh, we have uh, RN Meetup, which is the name of our app uh, class, uh, which extends a, compo uh, a, React, a React component. And we have the render method that probably all of you know from React, hopefully. Good. <laughs> and uh, so I don't have to dig that much in the, in, into what, uh, what is here. And then we have a view and we have text. Uh, a view and text are, are imported um, uh, modules, yeah, elements from, from React Native. And a view is actually a diff, you could say. Uh, and a text is a P element or a span, do, do, do it like that, um, which can style and, uh, and, and do stuff with, uh, with that. Um, and, and both elements are semantically different, and also they have uh, they have different properties, and uh, so you can't do you can't just type text into a view, then it it uh, it, it, it will it will complain, say it like that. Um, you've seen the live uh, live reload already, but uh, but but I shall show you. So welcome to React Native. Lots of uh, yeah. So. It, uh, it, it, upload, uh, it instantly reloads it when I save and helps me a little bit uh, during the coding. And for the styles, uh, they have they have something that's uh, they, they have a, a component called style sheet where you can mm. which you can feed uh, the, an object of uh, of styles, the container of styles for example, which itself is, is again an object, and can uh, and then you can say the view. Has some styles, styles that container. Um, you can also just do it without the style sheet create, but then it reloads it every time it uh, it accesses it. And with style sheet create, there is some optimization that you can that you are a little bit faster in native land. But yeah, we'll use it just like that. Um, and then the end, uh, you basically register your app. Com uh, your main component to the to the uh, to the app, and uh, then you're good to go and uh, and, and set up. Okay, um, let's let's so so far for that. Let's write the app just down. Um, first of all, we need uh, something like an like a title. Mm, give it some, some h1 class and, and say like here it's a meetup finder and remove all the other stuff. Can also remove that, leave that. This is nice. Mm, let's save that. What it does, it writes meetup finder in the center. No, uh, no, uh, no big stuff there. 
Um, yeah. um, then I think it would be good to have some part. I, I've, I've done that before, so it's not like I'm just coming up with that stuff. But <laughs> um, we want to have. A, I want to show you a, a map with uh, markers on the map where the next meetups are. Um, so we need we, we need a map, and uh, actually we, are, we we would need a map container for that. Yeah. Okay. And this map container also needs some styles later. Um, and below that map, I would like to have, as we are talking, uh, as we will talk to the real meetup API, there there will be some. Uh, I, I, I I would like to have a button there where I can click on, and then it uh, it fetches the stuff from the uh, from the server uh, and then puts the markers on the, on the map. So. Um, no. I'll have my button row there. So far, no magic. If we build that, nothing will happen. All of them are all of them are empty. Um, but uh, we can say the the map container is some background color, which is red, just for demoing purposes, and the button row is. Blue. Thank you. <laughs> if you happen to have uh, an error or a typo that, that I have, it complains about that. It actually tells you, okay, there is an unexpected token. It should actually be a semicolon, uh, and it uh, it tells you what to, what to expect there. So you go there and then fix it. But then you have to actually. Force reload the uh, the app and then and then you're good to go again. Mm. Okay, uh, H1s should be uh, should be large, so font size is 24. It's a little bit larger, um, and our background color of that is yellow because I don't, don't like your eyes. No. Um, so far, so far, so good. Um, nothing, no, nothing special there. Um, Okay, uh, the map container, which is actually the the, the th yeah, I'll, I'll do it the, uh, the other way around. Um, center is nice if you want to present like something in the middle, uh, um, but not actually uh, what, what we want to have. We want to have the um, title at the top, uh, then the map, and uh, then the map, and then the uh, then the button below the, uh, below the map. So if that works now, this is not what I expected. <laughs> um, I thought that's like hmm. okay. Let's give the uh, give the other no. Well, actually, yeah. The, the default uh, direction is column, so you have to say it if you if you want to row. Um, let's do the. the yeah, the, 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 there there should be flex one in the in the map container, I guess. Yeah, which tells it to to, uh, to get the get, get the remaining uh, space. So first thing that we see, it actually draws underneath the carrier and uh, and uh, time and and battery status, and so that's actually good because you want for some reasons or, or in, in some points you actually want to have uh, want to have that space uh, filled up but not in our case um, so uh, I'm a little bit lazy this is padding top 20 and it's actually yeah let's do it with the h1 better. I don't know. Well, um, text align center. Let's press that. Would hurt my eyes. Okay. Um, this won't be twenty all the times. Uh, actually, if uh, it's twenty-five under under Android, which there is some some nice version. Uh, how how you do that? Or can do that. Platform dot. OS if that is equal to iOS then it's 20 
otherwise it's 25. If I run that and have an imported platform, uh, it breaks. So I do that, it still works, and it will also work now on, on Android. That's the 20% the thingy all the time. Like, okay, this is a little bit different in, in Android, so we have to keep that in mind. Um, let's remove that yellow thing because that's ugly. Um, and fill up our, uh, our map container. Um, if you go to Google and say like React Native Maps, I did that. Um, there's actually, uh, as we as we've heard before, there there's Airbnb is is, is working also heavily uh, with React Native, and they build a beautiful React Native Maps uh, component. This is like really I I love that for that, um, because I wouldn't have done that. In the in, uh, inside the, the the native land actually so there's lots of documentation but the but the interesting part for us first is the installation instructions which you can't read probably so it actually is uh, an npm repository uh, you can say npm install react native maps save that's it let's try that mm -hmm. Wi-Fi, yeah, that looks good. Um, gives me some time. Uh, yeah. So it downloads the uh, downloads the component and installs it, and I can show you the briefly the the, the content of the uh, of that uh, of of that module. Which is which, which contains native parts for for iOS and, uh, and Android, and uh, I, I will also show you the the linking process how, how that works. Though I skip that a little bit, please. Yes. Could have. Okay, so so it did uh, in the background it detected. Something uh, so something changed, and if we go to the mode modules, React Native Maps, just to show it to you. So this is how an, uh, a native land uh, component looks like. We have the Android folder, we have the iOS folder, and JavaScript stuff in between. So um, currently, I, I, I would not be able to use it in the app, though it though it reloaded itself. You have to run a React, Na React Na Native run iOS again to compile stuff into the uh, into the uh, into the app and even before that it sh uh, the react native app actually needs to know that uh, that there are some some native dependencies that it, that it needs um, which would mean that we would now have to open Xcode drag and drop the uh, the, the Xcode project that you have to just seen into that uh, build faces link face uh, link stuff I don't do that um, because there is uh, some something nice from React Native, um, which ha happened to have which was React Na RNPM link, if you have heard that term, which has now come into the React Native uh, application itself or CLI itself. So you can just type React Native link. It goes through the old node no modules and sees okay, I can link that. I, I can I can hook up that uh, uh, that maps thing into. Uh, into my into my native stuff and actually that's what that's what it did pretty fast so it uh, it linked the react native maps android dependency and the ios dependency to that to the main project so now react native run ios and this will take 10 seconds build failed it's actually what i what i wanted to have because that drove me a little bit crazy when I when I was preparing the talk um, currently the most current version of the of the uh, Android of the React Native Maps uh, uh, component is not capable of working together with the uh, current version of React Native it's pretty sad if you want to present for, in front of a bunch of uh, people uh, something like that um, so I went through the uh, co there's uh, there's already uh, uh, um, an issue open uh, at GitHub. So I went a little bit through the uh, through the commits and checked them out. Which one was actually the last one that was working? And uh, I tried it this uh, this morning again. So this one here is the is my lucky number. 
Um, I will now install that one to spare you the, the details of going through GitHub and, and downloading that stuff. Um, but I, I, I guess this is something that, that every one of, uh, of us has just from, from time to time. There's nothing specific to React Native. It's just like that's how the Node.js yeah, our universe is uh, is working. There are some uh, some third party dependencies. Some of them work. Some of them won't work. Some of them then work in that version with the other version or not. So there there's always some 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 yeah uh, hard headaches <laughs> like that. Um, sorry that I have to download that again, but it, this was actually something that that I wanted to show that it, it's not all beauty even though we've, we've heard that uh, before uh, and it's it's currently 0 0.36 uh, it, it has come a long way the the whole react native uh, library uh, si uh, since since the beginning but there are still some details Wi-Fi please no oh. Windows uh, yeah. just try to get I restart uh, the Wi Fi. Clean? Hmm? No? Okay, so. Oh, come on. Okay, I'll we'll leave that in the background. I'll do the other stuff in the uh, in the foreground, and then we'll we'll, we'll come back to that. Um, hopefully. Mm. So imagine that we would have downloaded that, uh, and uh, and build and installed and linked up. Um, we can show that uh, in, uh, in the documentation we have components like map view, map view marker and, uh, and other stuff that we that we would not need. Um, we would be able to, to import map view from the React Native ma uh, maps uh, uh, component which we is something that we that we take currently now. So we have the map view component which we can then use here. Yeah. So, um, and the map, map view component, I don't go, go through the uh, documentation now, has, uh, has, uh, yeah, come on. has a property, thank you, uh, mm. called region, which you where you can give it a region um, which has a latitude what is I wrote it down Hamburg is 53.55 longitude 9.99 um, <laughs> So yeah, we, we're working together with a bunch of designers and they are called so far 53.9 and Talking also saying to them, but isn't it 5310? And they were like, no, no, it's 9.99. .9, so, yeah. um, and longitude delta, which is basically the zoom factor. And this would now zoom in the center of, uh, of Hamburg if the uh, thing is. Can you no, this is this is the only only thing. But but there within uh, well, you, you can easily uh, translate those two. So you, you you can write something like that and then just have that. Um, oh well, at least the operation timed out. <laughs> 
Hmm? Oh, like, not, not like, I don't know. No bot network, <laughs> not, 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 not today. So, let me just try, try HTTPS. Uh, it can be the a possible thing with uh, our guest trainer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. HTTPS for the, for the win. I knew that. <laughs> okay, uh, break native link again because we changed tho those. Okay. Um, Does it also unlink at that particular point? Does it remove stock as well? Uh, um, uh, there is an unlink, yeah, yeah. So, okay. you, so you can okay, so use will it. Will the Xcode project complain now that you removed? Uh, no, no, it, it actually said like, okay, they are already linked, so uh, it did not get that we that we changed the library in between. Um, so React, React Native on iOS, it, it compiles now the whole thing again, but this time it will, uh, it will actually work. Actually work, yes, yeah, so fires it up again. And we are there, you won't see, uh, you won't See a map now because I did not save this year, but I save uh, save it now, and fingers crossed, this will actually. Show nothing. Okay. Give it mm. some style. Styles map and map. Load it again. Hmm. Did it? Did I? Ah, uh, thank you. Checking if you're all awake. <laughs> Okay, there's a there, there's the map and there's Hamburg. Yeah. And so uh, I'll speed up a little bit. Uh, we put the uh, region into uh, the state because we also want to, to update that later on. Yeah, like that. This state region and there's also one thing that uh, is called on change region <coughs> which calls this dot on change region on change region is uh, just logging into a console so so like connected. It's called a region change. Yeah. So uh, whenever the region changes, it will have that. So we put that into uh, into our state. Okay, so it, uh, it, it won't put that on the on the, co on the console anymore. Um, what we actually wanted to have is, uh, is some some markers, and I'll now have to ask for the for the timing because I'm a little bit over the, the half an hour thing. I think we're quite okay. Okay. Still engaged? Okay. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Cool. Um, we want to uh, want to show some some markers there, and um, I'll prepare them already here. Markers is an array. And we'll do something with that later. Um, I want to uh, want to show buttons. Bad thing is you can't just say button and uh, and, uh, and then there is a, there is a button. There are there is stuff like touchable opacity and this can get an on press and you, you do that uh, do something with that. 
which is unstyled, uh, I'll, uh, I'll fasten that up a little bit. There is uh, maybe uh, there is there 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 is some there 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 are plenty of uh, of components that have built buttons. Uh, I will now use the APSL thing. Mm. Good. Uh, there it does it in the background. Lazy. So you import button from APSL React Native button and you put the button component there. Uh, click me. But you still have to say on press, I think it was. So when should I actually find the meetups? There it says on press. Is it already? Yeah. So uh, for this, we just have to reload the app because uh, it has no native dependencies, um, and we can now say like, okay, let's let's do something with that. There is our button. It's ugly. Uh, we remove that, that blue thing, and this is now where, where you have to say flex direction row and say uh, align items center, which makes it a little bit better. Justify content center and give it some padding at the top. That makes it a little bit nice. So there should be a click me button here. So you can click there and it won't find anything currently. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, there is a beautiful meetup API, uh, which I did not know before uh, and probably you, you, you didn't also. So you can get an API key and, and have, have tons of, of, of endpoints that you can, can talk to. We are going to use the open events uh, endpoint. And frankly, that's something that I, that I prepared uh, beforehand. So uh, there's our endpoint api.meetup.com slash two slash open events. Uh, it has some default parameters like the radius in miles. Okay, uh, 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 former JSON that we want to have uh, the topic uh, that you can give multi uh, give it multiple topics. We just are interested in, in JavaScript uh, stuff. Uh, want twenty elements, and you have to sign it with your key. Please don't copy that and do stuff with it. But uh, yeah, <coughs> um, and the find meetups uh, function uh, is uh, is then just taking uh, a region and has a callback called done. Um, and what, what it does, it, it puts those parameters together with the latitude and longitude, builds the URL from the endpoint and the parameters, and then calls, uh, I think it's also is 6 no? Well, it's, it's, it's the fetch uh, function component. Um, so uh, React Native is, 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 is has has that uh, has that built in? There are other libraries that that you can use for that more easily, but just for the ba for the basics, just we just use fetch, which is uh, by, by default does a get to that URL. Then, if you get the response, you transform it into you parse it into JSON, and if you have the JSON, uh, you you're basically done. But uh, uh, we are all we are only interested in the uh, in the one. Me, uh, in the meetups that are that actually have a value, uh, because otherwise we can't show show something on the uh, on the map. So the meetups are the structure is there is a meetup and maybe beneath that there is a venue already, and that venue has latitude and longitude. And with that filtered uh, array, we uh, we go back to uh, to our main method. So copy that. And import it. Uh, 
reload it again, it's still working, did not mess up something. If you mess up, again, it will break and tell you uh, that, that, that you did bad stuff, so that, that actually also helps a lot. Um, and what we do is meetup API dot find meetups, find meetups, and give it this state dot region, and uh, meetups is the arrow. Is our callback. You can use alert there, that, that's also pretty nice. Mm. Just to demonstrate it once, we got some results. So if I click there, it actually fetches data from the API. And then we got some results. You can also use that with the, with the console, but yeah, so just for just for demonstrating. So we have an array of uh, of meetups, and we want to put them on the map. Um, we already have our state markers there, uh, and I need to transform them now. So uh, Quick yeah. Is uh, there any chance to see the requests uh, made from the iOS app, like from the console, without like from the log? Like yeah, unfortunately not. There isn't. There is an open open uh, not issue for that, but uh, but feature feature request that you can also see them in uh, in Chrome. Currently, you you can't. There is something built in here in the inspector. It was so you have network here, but but currently, uh, yeah, like you. Know. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so it, uh, it 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 won't show you any uh, anything there uh, uh, besides the uh, besides the calls to uh, to Chrome, but they are working on that. That that it will I, I I guess it will take some time to get that into Chrome. But yeah, so so they are working working on that. Mm. Okay, so um, markers is meetups. Dot map and we have something an M and out of that M we return an object M dot oh, something called title. Ah uh, yeah, maybe one thing first because I did not show that. Marker uh, component API. So the marker uh, needs a title, a description, and a coordinate. And the coordinate is latitude and longitude. So pretty straightforward stuff, um, which uh, I get out of the out of the meetup uh, uh, element. Just for to help me a little bit. Name it was description. This description and coordinate coordinate yeah is an object out of m dot venue dot let that's more guessing we'll find that out soon and longitude m dot venue dot long Yeah. So check that. Yeah, yeah. Press twice. Um. So those are the the meetups. So you have the name here. You have the description. You have a venue object, and the venue object has let and lon. Okay. Um, okay, so that's that's good. Yeah, Remove that. Is it possible to set breakpoints and debug? Uh, yes, you can. So you can say debugger here, and I uh, can also show you what will happen then. But you jump 
jump right there and you can can also then use Chrome for debugging so I could also then have done that with that um, though uh, if if you happen to use a lot of transpilers or so like Redux connect and uh, it, it might uh, it might be that the that the mapping uh, that the map file is not uh, is not correct in the in the end so uh, the, it might it might happen that it jumps to the to the wrong uh, uh, yeah like row but it it, it works out of out of the box that's, uh, that's for sure. so um, have our markers is dot set state because we want them to update uh, those markers and remove that annoying alert. So we have the markers here, and set them in the state, which updates uh, the rendering. And of course, we need to uh, show them here. Map view dot marker. So this dot state dot markers for e for e no map. Um, out of a mark, out of a marker, we want to return a map view marker, which, sorry, map view marker, which gets all the properties of uh, M. Because did that already up, uh, up in the file. Okay, so uh, we have to we, we have our state markers. We map them. We map each element to uh, a map view marker object and give it all the properties. So uh, meaning title, description, coordinate. Save that. I did something wrong. Uh, So let's see if I click there. So it, it, it does something, yeah. Okay, so what is there? Angular talk and code, and let's hope. What's there? Someone knows it. Um, but there is a warning. Uh, the warning is pretty uh, solved easily. It says like each child in an area or iterator should have a unique key property. That's pretty easy. We say key is something like marker minus id x. And do it again. Click here. It's there again. And there is a rate made read up 13. Um, as we are, so you, that's also something that I had to learn from uh, while learning React Native. Uh, there is also the simulator that, that behaves a little bit nicely here. So you can emulate pinching, meaning we can go to uh, Peel and uh, have, the, have the meetups there, uh, there as well. So there's, I think this one it is, the upcoming meetup. So yeah. <laughs> um, they are already there because I said like, okay, give, give me everything within 100 miles. Um, there wouldn't be something in Berlin. If we have time for that, I can, I can show you that. So as it updates the, uh, the state, every time uh, I pinch here, we would now be able to go to Berlin, center in that, click here, and also find everything there. So, um, this is basically where the where the uh, where the app ends. I'll have three more slides to to wrap that whole thing up, and then we'll have ears and questions or so. Um, going back. So we did that. What did we learn? How to build an app in forty-five <laughs> minutes with <laughs> React Native from scratch. <laughs> um, there is something called React Native Link to link native libraries automatically in the, into the app. Um, that's something that that's actually quite quite nice if you if you don't really don't want to have to do anything with with a native 
land. Um, on the other hand, it's worth doing that once that you know what's happening there and, uh, and, and what it does because it can also break and then you're they're like, okay, we've never done that. So do it once in a project where that, that works and then, uh, then you use that uh, after that. But we also learned the, the Meetup API is great. That was actually something that just worked out of, uh, out of the uh, out of the blue, and the maps component by by Airbnb is is great, even though that it's not working together with the current version of, of React Native. But yeah, that's live. But they, they are actually so they got my kudos. They, they that's a, uh, that's a nice uh, nice component, and well, we have we heard that before. We have seen that here a little bit. There is there is already a, a huge com uh, community with React Native, so it's not just Facebook doing that, or driving that, or there are others. And actually, whenever I was searching for something, there was a, li a library already, a component already that, that did what I what I wanted to do, and better or, or, or worse, but it actually, so, so there was a, there was at least something. So the, so that's that's also big, a big plus for React Native there. Um, you can get the, the whole code a little bit a nicer version though. Uh, I guess I put both uh, there. So this is uh, under that URL, you get the, the nice cleanup version, int intendation right, and so uh, uh, zoom level is uh, translated there and so, and so but um, this is that version, but next to that uh, under the app with us uh, GitHub account, I'll also put that that version here that, you, that you'll have that uh, as well. Um, Questions. Thanks to you, by the, by the way, for for the helping. Yeah. And there is a maps component in React Native itself. Is it just way more basic, or? Uh, no, I think they. I think they uh, I think they removed it because. Uh, funny thing is, if you go, if you go there, React Native, Docs. Map, map view. It says like go to the one from <laughs> Airbnb. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just a short annotation to that point. Um, they actually merged a PR a couple of days ago to um, put these Airbnb React Native maps thing into React Native. Ah, okay. So, so next so. version ships with uh, complete map view for every platform. Okay, cool. So let's hope they get that compiling. Or fix by that, <laughs> but yeah, that's cool. Yeah. For those more familiar with React Native, um, what do you think of that philosophy of putting something as specific as maps into the basic core? It seems kind of excessive to me. What do you guys think of that? Um, I I did a lot of Android before and learned a lot about iOS, and these are just basic components that you need for so many apps that I think is you need to have it in order to compete with real native apps. And it should be something of the core. Because every OS, every mobile OS also ships with it. There's also Windows 10 support for React Native. And they also have a, net, a Maps API that they will have to support at some point. I think it's, it's vital, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I basically share the, the the same the same stuff. So there is at some point there is something that that's already given there, and you you say like yeah like activity indicator in the web version you would you would like go to some some GIF animation for for an indicator, download that, put it up there, and and then you have it there. It would be nice to just say like okay, I just want to show an, an activity indicator there, and and you have it here, and it's the native one, and. Everyone is familiar with that, so so that's something that 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 surprised me was there. Other stuff on the other hand, like yeah, basically the, the thing that I, that I've shown, like the uh, drawing under the uh, under the the top bar, was like okay, I thought that's kind of like done by the uh, by the whole iOS application framework, but it, but it isn't. So when and I learned that it's good that it's not there because you can do stuff with that uh, twenty pixels, but yeah, so. Um, but uh, and and with components, uh, I guess it's it's a little bit the same. So there's there there will always be drawbacks. So uh, bet between what you want to have there and uh, and what you need to get from from some third party library. But yeah, so maps is something that is kind of crucial to to have inside your 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 nowadays app.
follow-up question to that. Um, are you stuck with shipping all of the binaries um, for these things with your app no matter what, or is there some kind of pruning going on at ship times? Is there like ProGuard on Android and some kind of iOS equivalent? It's it's the same. So it, it, the, the by default, it uses ProGuard in the in the build process. So it, it does it for, uh, it, it uses it for the for the release uh, compiling and for for iOS. I guess it's something something similar because eventually, if you if you build your release version, you go to Xcode and and to, and use Xcode for that, and that would also so. That ha that has been there before that you had to use some, some third party libraries in, in Xcode. So, uh. all right, thanks. Yeah. Do you know if the maps implementation on Android is? Do they use different maps? Is it Google Maps versus? It? Yeah, so it looks like Apple Maps. Yeah, th this is Apple Maps, uh, which is the default uh, version in uh, in iOS. Uh, on Android, they use Google Maps. Um, for that, you need to have a little bit more setup because you need a, an API key for that. Um, um, but yeah, you can also use Google Maps uh, in the iOS version. So, but obviously, you can't use the Apple Maps in the Android version. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you can, you can do that. Um, yeah. What's about Regeto uh, pins, uh, offline maps, pulley pull, pulley line, out overlay? <laughs> Some of the questions of my clients. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Trackable pins are some markers, or as, they, as they call them. They they are already implemented, so you can also use the the animation API for that, which is smooth. Um, uh, for the routing, I have not used that uh, so far, so I I don't know. I guess it would have it would use then the native code then. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know about that. So, mm -hmm. someone else knows. Uh, yeah. So, how do you usually organize your project? I mean, if the um, project becomes bigger and bigger, so what are your best best practices? Um, you can you can have a look at the uh, the more cleaner version of the uh, of the uh, of that of that app. Um, there is usually you would you would set up some some JS folder or shared folder which which contains all the JavaScript code that that is shared between the uh, between the uh, b both versions, um, and you would just link in uh, in that from the uh, from the index iOS.js. So you would you would all put that into a JS folder, have an app.js there, and then just import it once here, and uh, and then you're good to go. Um, there, from there, we have a view, view folder which contains all the views and, and, and some, some managers. We have Redux there, so it, it then comes basically, I would say, back a little bit to the uh, to, to the React world of, of, of how to handle things or how to set up things. Um, that that's not much different. Uh, I would say we also have compo components folder where we put all, all our own components. Um, but yeah, you, you 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 would usually link into uh, into a shared folder. Um, there are some some helpers like the platform.os little helper. Um, whenever you have a JS file and you pre uh, middle fix it with dot Android dot or dot iOS dot, the uh, React Native automatically knows that and, and and knows okay I need to use this one because this is now uh, this is now the Android version so. Um, that that helps you a little bit if if the, the two versions differ uh, differ widely, but yeah, that does not happen that often. It does happen often if you have have to build apps really cross platform where you uh, where you say okay, I want the native Android look and the native iOS look, and this is maybe using tab navigation. This is using a drawer. This is where you would say, okay, this, the, the navigation differs now, and uh, I put up two different files. But everything else in between the views are then uh, then the same. Any more questions? Okay. All right, let's go for Sebastian.